Hello dear our learners, hope you are doing well. In this video, we are going to see the for loops. The for loop is used to execute repetitive code statements for multiple number of times. For executing a for loop, we need to specify a vector and a variable. The variable specified is sequentially set to all the values which are contained in the vector and all commands are executed for all these values. Have a look at this for loop construct. The variable x is iteratively replaced by each value in the numbers vector. Because first value in the numbers vector is 10, the first iteration starts by replacing x with 10 and runs everything between the curly brackets. Since we have only print function in the curly brackets, the value of x shall be printed in the first iteration. In the second iteration, x gets a value from numbers vector, hence second value will get printed out in the second iteration. In this manner, the for loop iterates over until x reaches to the last value of numbers vector. After x reaches to the last value, the for loop will stop and next our command after the for loop will get executed. X is also called as a loop counter since it gets incremented after every iteration of for loop. Let's construct the for loop in R. Here is a for loop. We have created a numeric vector object called numbers. We want to print out the odd and even numbers from this vector. We start with a for loop and use variable i as a loop counter. The variable i is iteratively replaced by each value in the numbers vector. Then value of i will be tested for the even number condition and the answer is printed out as per the if statement result. In this manner, for loop iterates until variable i reaches to the last element in number vector. We can also break the execution of for loop using prex statement. If the current element is equal to 5, we break the loop using the break statement. After this, no iteration will be executed. Instead of terminating the for loop, you can skip an iteration using a next statement. For example, here we have used an if statement inside the for loop to check for odd numbers. If the number is odd, we skip the iteration using the next statement and print only even numbers. Suppose we have two sequences of numbers. We want to print all the combinations where the sum of numbers in both the sequences is even. In the above program, we have created two sequences, sequence 1 and sequence 2, both containing the numbers from 1 to 3. We then use a nested for loop to iterate through the sequences. The outer loop iterates through sequence 1 and the inner loop iterates through sequence 2. In each iteration, i stores the current number of sequence 1, j stores the current number of sequence 2. The if statement inside the nested loop checks if i plus j is even or odd. If it is even, then we print i and j. For loop uses variable in the form of loop counter and makes the iteration till loop counter reaches to its last position. While loop, on the other hand, uses the loop condition. So long as the condition is true, while loop executes. And once condition is false, while loop exits. We will have a close look at while loop in the next video. Thanks for watching till end. I will see you in the next video.